Hi, good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Goticia. You have a parking ticket on Roanoke Street, parking in a prohibited area. What do you want to tell me about it? So I was at the laundromat with my kids, and I honestly didn't see a sign, so I parked there to load the baskets in. And when we came out, I had the ticket. And I said to my husband, I got a ticket because it's his car, but I didn't realize that there was a sign. And I recently bought a new car, so when I cleaned out my old car, I found the ticket. So found there's the a ticket. fee. Mm. So I was just wondering if the fees could be waived. Oh, I see. And then I met your nice son that was back there. And my husband loves you, so he told me that I should be a movie star and come take a picture with you in the eyes of my husband. <laughs> he did. <laughs> you have a, f a cell phone? Yes. Give it to Inspector Quinn. Okay. All right, come up here. No, 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 no. All right, come on, come on, come up here. All right, we're going to get one thing straight right now, right? All right, here's what we're going to get straight. Wait a minute. I don't want any husbands chasing me. Do you understand that? Yeah. All right. How big is your husband? He's got to be bigger than I am. Uh, a little bit. A little bit. About a foot taller than me, maybe? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, huh? Inspector Quinn, you got my security, right? Just remember, if anything good happens to me, go check her husband. Oh, all right. All right, get over here. You're welcome. Uh, let's get back to the ticket now. How many kids do you have? I have seven, six living. Seven? Yes. And you're at the laundromat? Yes. That's because he didn't get the washer and dryer fixed. Oh, so your husband's fault. He didn't get the washer and dryer fixed? Yeah. And then we got a new one, and he's got it sitting in the basement. <clears throat> How often do you have to do laundry? Um, with that family size, I usually go every two weeks because I work two jobs. I would guess it's a pretty big, hefty load. Yeah. I'm actually going after court today. All right. Feeding seven kids, I think we can give you a break on a parking ticket. It's the first parking ticket you ever got to in Providence, according to what I see here. Yes, because <clears> I play for overnight parking, so I yeah. usually try not to have tickets. But Tisha, good luck. Good luck to you. Okay, the matter's dismissed. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a great day. Now, I suspect there'll be some people who will say that I violated the sanctity of the court by taking a picture with that young lady. I would like to argue that I helped that motorist realize that our government really is an institution that is of the people, for the people, and by the people. A fact that is for some reason rarely demonstrated. Samantha? Samantha, you're charged with going through a red light on Allen's Avenue in Terminal Street. Okay, who's this with you? Uh, this is my mom. It's registered in her name. My car is. She commutes from. Are you Tamara? I yeah. am. All right. So you got you got the summons. I did. And you, and you were not a ha happy camper when you got that summons, right? No, she's only 17, and she drives over 2,200 odd miles back and forth to school every day. Right. So. Where, do you, uh, where do you go to school? Uh, I'm an early enrollment freshman at Johnson and Wales. Good for you. Thank you. Uh, so it means I'm dual enrolled. I'm still in high school, but they allow me to take full-time classes at Johnson & Wales. Oh, that tells me something. That tells me something about you. Yes, yeah, she didn't graduate in my class. <laughs> <laughs> tells me that you're a very bright young lady. <clears throat> that academically you are being recognized for your ability, which is wonderful. But we're going to take a look at it, and then we're going to make a decision. How's that? Sounds good. Okay, lights, please. Okay, now, there is some confusion here. It confuses me a lot because I, I don't drive down there very often. This is like the second week of class, maybe. And I, I believe it was probably the day where I, I lost my ID and I had to park down city on the other campus. So I was just really frazzled and I didn't even know I ran the red light until I got the ticket in the mail. My policy is that if you pass the first stop line, when the light turns red, I dismiss it. And your front wheels were past the first stop line when that light turned to red. So I'm going to dismiss it. Thank you. On that basis, okay? And good luck to you. Keep up your strong academic performance. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. What do you want to do when you graduate? Um, I'm not really entirely sure, but my major is uh, organizational risk and cybersecurity management. Well, that seems like a, an open field these yeah. days, right? Yeah, I hope to join like the FBI or something like that. That's like the end goal, so. I'm sure whatever you do, you succeed. <laughs> How do you feel about her joining the FBI? As long as she's happy. As long as she's happy, huh? Well, as you stand before me, 
in my humble judgment, you represent the best that America has to offer in the future. So when I see people like you, I know that our nation is secure. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.